Hey there! Looking to make some extra money online? In today's video, I'm going to show you how I started an Amazon KDP business using AI. No design skills required. But here's the exciting part. I discovered a coloring book in the book niche that was just published a couple of months ago. It already has a great ranking and is selling around 800 units monthly. That's incredible potential right there. And trust me, it's not as complicated as you might think. I'll walk you through each step, so even if you're a beginner, you'll be able to follow along. But first, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any future money-making tips. Let's get started. Picking the right niche is super important because you want something that sells all year round and can bring in steady income. Some good examples of niches are cooking, mental health, and educational books for kids. For example, within the cooking niche, you might develop a recipe book. If mental health interests you, creating a gratitude journal would be a great choice. For educational books, how about activity books for kids? Now, you need to make sure that whatever niche you choose, there are multiple products you can create within that niche. This way, you can have a variety of books bringing in money. Personally, I'm enthusiastic about the activity books niche. It's consistently popular and holds a lot of potential. That's pretty amazing. But remember, these numbers are high and might not be what you see at the start. Choosing the right niche sets you up for success, so take some time to think about what interests you and what might sell well. Now that we've chosen a niche, the next would be to do some research and see what the competition looks like. For example, the coloring books niche is very popular, but also very competitive with over 70,000 results on Amazon. So we need to dig deeper to find a sub niche with less competition. During my research, I found a great sub niche, Scissor Skills Activity Books. These books help kids develop their cutting skills and are part of the educational niche. What's great about this sub niche is that it has low competition and high search volume. To check the competition, I looked at the number of similar books and their sales rankings. Scissor Skills books had fewer results, but still had good demand, making it a promising choice. Finding a niche with low competition and high demand can give you a better chance of success. There are two main methods to identify and confirm a profitable niche. Paid method. The BookBeam tool helps authors and publishers find profitable niches on Amazon by offering features like Chrome extension, niche finder, keyword research tool, book tracker, AI assistant, AI editor, category explorer, description formatter, listing optimizer, and trademark checker. These features enable users to identify high demand, low competition opportunities, optimize their book listings, and make informed decisions to maximize their success on Amazon. Free method. If you don't want to spend money, try using a free Chrome extension called DS Amazon Quick View. Start by searching for a broad topic on Amazon, like coloring books. Check the number of search results. Ideally, aim for fewer than 1,000 results to ensure lower competition. If there are too many results, narrow it down by exploring sub-niches within that category, such as stress relief coloring books or food and snacks coloring books. Check the BSR of the books in these sub-niches. To ensure there's a solid demand, look for at least 5, 10 books with a BSR under 100,000. With our niche decided, it's time to create the product. We'll design a Scissor Skills activity book that will stand out. We'll divide our book into three levels. For level one, we'll include basic lines and graphics. For level two, we will include different shapes like circles and triangles. For level three, we will have full page graphics with more complex designs. To get started, we'll use ChatGPT to generate images and Canva for our designs. In Canva, create a new design with the size 8, 5x11 inches. For level 1, we'll add simple graphics and shapes. For level 2, we'll add more complex shapes. For level 3, we'll use Photopea to create detailed cutting lines around our images. This way, our book will be engaging and fun for kids, helping us stand out in the market. Let's get into the fun part, creating the designs for our Scissor Skills book. Level 1. The tools we need are Canva and ChatGPT. Here are the steps. Open Canva and set up a new design with dimensions 8.5 by 11 inches. Use ChatGPT to create cute, simple images. 
For instance, input a prompt like, generate a colorful image of a kawaii cat isolated on a white background. Regenerate the image until you're satisfied with the results. And repeat the process for the other two images. In Canva, place the generated image into your design. Adjust a shape to fit the template and make it transparent. Add a dashed line border to frame the image. Use the Elements tab in Canva, select a dashed line, and place it under the graphic to show where kids should cut. Add a small scissor icon and a headline at the top for a finishing touch. Now as for Level 2. Start off by adding simple shapes like circles or triangles. Change the colors and add dashed borders. Duplicate the shapes to fill the page, making it slightly more challenging. Lastly, in Level 3, use Photopea for detailed designs. Upload an image generated by ChatGPT. Use the Magic Wand tool to select and delete the background. Use the Magic Wand tool again to select the background, then right-click and choose Inverse to select the object. Right-click again, hover over Modify, and choose Expand. Set it to around 30. This may vary based on your image. Go to the right-hand menu, click on Paths, and select the option at the bottom to turn the selection blue. Select the Pen tool, choose Shape at the top, set the fill to transparent and the stroke to black. Adjust the border width and change the border type to dashed lines. Export the image as a PNG. Upload the PNG to Canva and add it to the design. Repeat these steps for all the images in your book. You must take care so that each page is engaging and appropriate for kids. Don't forget to insert blank pages after each cutting page to avoid cutting through to the next design. Now that we have all our pages designed, it's time to finalize the book. This includes designing the book cover and making sure everything looks good. To do this, you can. Use Canva to create a cover. Add a page on the top. Include some of the graphics from inside the book to give a preview of what's inside. Keep the design simple and colorful to attract parents and kids. Add the book title, like Fun Scissor Skills for Kids Activity Book. Your book is pretty much all done. Go through each page to make sure there are no errors. Check that the cutting lines and designs are clear and easy to follow. Make sure the levels progress in difficulty as planned. Download the final version of your book as a PDF print. Ensure the file is high quality and ready for printing. Your book is now ready for publishing on Amazon KDP. With a unique and engaging design, by following the exact steps I have shown you in the video, you can kickstart your own Amazon KDP book using AI. We're wrapping up here, but don't go just yet. You see that video popping up on your screen? That's like the secret sauce to amplifying your income. I've laid it all out for you there. Give it a click and let's dive into some more strategies that are as exciting as they are profitable. It's not just another video, it's your next step towards financial freedom.